crowd loves them, the fans love them, we sell out every game. You know, let's keep this nucleus together and give it one more go. I just, I was kind of surprised that they traded DeRozan for yeah. Kawhi Leonard, especially Kawhi Leonard. I mean, really, to be honest with you, with him, we still really don't know how healthy he no, is. No, we don't. You know, I mean, that, I mean, he didn't really, he played, what, like five games total last year or something like that? Right. So, I mean, he really didn't play much at all. He, from what I'm hearing, he's not going to play in the Olympics what? Uh, coming up here in a couple of weeks. That he's not going to report for that, so... I, I he mean, does for anyway. Toronto, it's a big From what I guys. hear, he doesn't want to go, go to Toronto. Yeah. Yeah, and really? I've heard that, too. Yeah, I've heard that, too. Oh, I didn't hear that. that. He does, he's very unhappy about being traded there. He, he does not. Probably from all the he tweets wants, from the Toronto wants, players and, saying, what the hell? This <laughs> came, well, this came out of his mouth. Exactly. I know this for a fact. came out of his mouth before he got traded. He wanted to play for the Lakers. He wants well, to play for the Lakers. He wants to be an L.A. Lakers. He originally wanted to play for the Lakers, yeah. so LeBron went there. Now he's starting well, to think that, about yeah, the Clippers. See, I hadn't heard anything since LeBron got traded. That's... See, I thought it was going to be LeBron, Kawhi, and Paul George, and then Paul George is like, "No, I'm staying right where I'm at." Yeah. <laughs> this is my, this is my, this has always been my one very few small criticisms of LeBron James, and he's great. He is top five to ever play, without a doubt. But he doesn't make players better, and it's hard to build a team around him. He makes teams better without question. But there's not one player that you can name that after playing with LeBron James, you were like, dude, look what he brings. Look what this dude can do now. He makes everyone has to take a step back. And I think Kawhi Leonard and Paul George was like, look, man, I'm just going to be standing in the corner waiting for him to pass me the ball. And then I got to guard somebody. Like, I got more to my game like that. I think that's why Kyrie Irving yeah. is. It's, it's the Russell Westbrook yeah, effect. That's a good point. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. No, that's yeah. a very Russell good point. Russell Westbrook is a great player, but man, right. nobody wants to play right. with him. Well, Paul George was just like, yeah, I might as well just stay here. Paul George ended up losing more money on the yeah, deal. To stay in Houston. To stay yeah, in, to in, in Oklahoma City than go to L.A. Because I think, like, it's just hard to, to play with. So he goes and he's. He doesn't really mm-hmm. develop young dudes. Young no. dudes he wants no Nothing no part do. of. Mm-hmm. And then the older dudes then have to change the way that they normally play to fit in and him. Yeah. That's why it's going to be interesting how he see the ball. He's got three and, championships yeah. because of it, which is great. But I think like that's but that's why I think this works for this L.A. team. Mm-hmm. It's, it's because it's just like, yo, you don't – we got ball handlers. You just score. Yeah. I think he's got a chance to lead the league in scoring this year. Wow. All right, yeah. we got to take a quick break, and we'll come back yeah. in like a minute and 14 seconds on 1070 NBC Sports. Uh, uh. Woo! Well, welcome back to the Larry Tibco Show on 1070 NBC Sports with Bill Siebert and Kevin Bozeman, who's performing at Vasani's this week. For tickets, log on to Vasani.net or call 941-629-9191. One show tonight, one show tomorrow. Are you doing two on Saturday? One show Saturday. One, okay. 8 o'clock tonight, 8.30 tomorrow, and 7 p.m. on Saturday. So come on out, oh, poor Charlotte. Yeah. Come on out. Let's be honest. You don't. There's nothing else going on in your life. No. Nope. It should be nothing but... I always, Stand-up comedy and sports radio. That's the perfect, like, that's a perfect day. Vasani's is such the perfect date night because you eat so good. The food's so phenomenal. Good. Then you food get to great. watch an awesome show. Everybody's laughing. Everybody goes home happy. You're about to get some. La- <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's Vasani's a good day. A great place, it's a good man. day. <laughs> it's you a got good, the alcohol uh-huh. there, great wine. It's Yeah. I call Vasani's the greatest aphrodisiac. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's the closer. <laughs> it really is. It's, it's a, a closer. It's a lot of fun here. So you're from Chicago. You've uh, you, you started. You were in college, and then you decided I'm going to get into stand up comedy. <laughs> How's that yeah, work? <laughs> right. It's, I always tell people like stand up comedy is just kind of like in you. Like you don't like it's just it's just calling you, and it's just like I would always be fascinated with watching stand up comedy, and like. And I used to always be like, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. And but I it just, takes some cojones to get up on stage, man. It does. <laughs> How did That's you get over that fear? There, <laughs> some people, like, I've never been afraid to be in front of people. But, like, does that help, has... Does sports help you with that, being in front of crowds? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But the... um That's got tripped up a lot of people. Like, I've run into a lot of funny people, but they can never get comfortable mm-hmm. on stage. Yeah. And then I've seen people not that funny... So comfortable on stage that it, like, it relaxes the crowd and they get laughs. I'm like, how are you even laughing at this garbage? This is awful. <laughs> but they're just so comfortable on stage. Like it, it relaxes an yeah. audience when they see that you're relaxed. Yeah. And Chicago's like the mecca of comedy too. So many great talents has coming out of Chicago. Yeah, man. For yeah. sure. For sure. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it's great. And I uh, love it here. Flew in. Uh, 
Fort Myers yesterday, yeah. and uh, I mean, living it up. Like, nice. Well, when I ain't living it up, that means every place I've gone to has air conditioning. <laughs> Hey, real quick, uh, update on our boy Tiger Woods, two under through eight holes at the British Open. He's doing good. He is doing good. I'm su- I played him in my fan duel. Go, Tiger! Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, I'm a big Tiger fan. So I. I love Tiger. <laughs> Tony Finau had a great round this morning, four yeah. under. I haven't really um, been following any golf, man, to be honest with you, so I don't know. Kisner, I, Kisner's, I think Kisner's still leading it. We got the enough. PGA Championship coming up here in August. That's all I know. So <laughs> coming up, man. And Eric likes the golf. <laughs> I, just, I love the British Open. I, I, I every year I get up at one one o'clock in the morning to watch the British Open. Do you really? I do. God, that's dedication, man. man. I, I did it last night too. So no, oh really? Yeah, that's dedication. I couldn't. I, was, do that. I think I was going to bed at one. <laughs> I got to sleep. I went to bed early. I was going to bed at one. Yeah, to bed at one. yeah. this is like because it's like the it's. The doldrum of sports right now, you know, no baseball. There's no really football. There's no bat unless you watch the D League. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, 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 do, I do watch. I watch the summer. I watch the summer, summer league, league, which yeah. just got which summer just got league. done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watch the, the WNBA league. out there too. You know, hey, uh, just yeah, girls too. just dropped fifty three for somebody, yeah. right? I don't know. Ask in Bill. the WNBA, He's the one that said fan in WNBA. <laughs> I, I, I did a fan duel on WNBA the other night because I, I was I was just like, there on. was nothing going on. I was bored. And I ended up, for, I didn't do any research or anything. I ended up winning a free ticket. So I was like, what the hey? I thought, I got a free ticket to play another league. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, right. I never, <laughs> never even watched it before. Exactly. I, I don't, I don't, Hilarious. Yeah, I can't help you on that one. WNBA and golf, way out of hey, my uh, golf, area having, of expertise. Golf is a lot of fun. Golf is fun. I mean, I love golf anyway, and I know all the golfers. So for me, doing golf research is like doing baseball research or football research. I love it. It's great. It's a lot of fun. All right. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> hey, if you can, if, if it can win me thousands of dollars, sounds like it's a lot of. <laughs> sounds like you have such fun. It's like it's, it's like WNBA is like playing like minor league baseball fan duel. Oh no, I didn't say I meant PGA. I wasn't talking about WNBA. I was talking about PGA. All right, all right. So uh, you're a Bears fan too, then I would assume. Yes. Oh yeah. You, yes. Your Bears going to surprise some people this year. You watch. Oh, I I don't doubt it. I, I love doubt Jordan it. Howard. It, it's uh, Mitch Trubisky is uh, is going to cost the, uh, you know, general manager's job is on the line for drafting him. Didn't you guys win a game last year with him? Where he only threw like five passes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Bears defense is underrated. The Bears is it, oh, defense. Is it the Steelers. Oh wow. The Bears defense is underrated, and they have a really good running game. Yeah. And Ter- Pittsburgh always kind of lays an egg. Once again in the season, when you're like, why? How did they lose that game, right? Because it was like, because I think the spread was like seven. Yeah. I know a little bit about spreads, and uh, <laughs> the spread was like seven, and I was like, oh man, there's no way the Bears don't cover this. But yet, it was just they was just doing goofy stuff, and mm-hmm. Jordan Howard, I like him, ran him over. They got him ranked fifteenth at running back, which That's is crazy. He's top ten in my Vasani league. I got him ranked number one. <laughs> I'm, it's my pick. If I get if he falls, no me, way. He's not the number one oh, running he's back. Got, they're gonna make with Mitchell Trubisky a quarterback. They're gonna give him yeah, a lot but of they carries. Got that that Terry Cohen, too. He's a pass catcher. Right. But that's just it. You need those. <laughs> He's you a third need, down back. But you need those catches, too, in this league now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because Le'Veon Bell and David Johnson, like, they put up monster. They put up wide receiver numbers, right? Le'Veon Bell turned down $14.5 million a year. You see that? Wow. Good for I mean, him. <laughs> the, the highest paid running back right now is making seven. He's, yeah. ro- he's, ro- he's rolling the dice yeah. with that one. Okay, first of all, he's rolling the right, dice. He's rolling the dice. He's in trouble. If he gets hurt, if anything happens next year, he's, he's screwed. Yeah, you know? I'm more um, worried about his off the field issues. Pittsburgh never pays anybody, and they offered him to be the highest paid running back by seven million a year, almost double, like, d- almost double what the what what Freeman makes in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I understand seven, he seven, wants five. his money, but there has to be a little bit. He wants his seventeen million, yeah. but. Man, who kn- who knows how much longer he has? To be honest, he's a running back. You just never know. It, it's not worth the risk. It really isn't, you know. Yeah, and that's he, just kind of how only it is. A running back. He's technically a wide receiver. I know too. he is too. But we offered him fifteen million dollars a year. I was shocked year. by that. Do you think he wants out of Pittsburgh? I love that Eric is like we offered him. <laughs> like, Eric, like, hey man, listen, dude. I'm yeah. in Vasani's right now, but yeah. I'm offering you. <laughs> well, I, oh, I'm thinking maybe he's thinking about the future of Pittsburgh with Roethlisberger possibly considering retirement. He's 26, so he's figuring, I got till 30 to make mm-hmm. my money. Oh, yeah, the wall's 30. So, yeah, he's got So, money. he's saying historically, that's what, if you're going to say that with running backs, a four year deal, give me my money. But they were giving him, well, you would have been the highest paid running back in the NFL. Technically, well, hear me out on this, though. I can kind of see his point, his, his way of, his way of viewing this this way. 
He's one, he's already made enough money to where he's pretty much set for life, correct? With all the millions of dollars he's made in the NFL so far? In theory. In theory, I'm just saying. In, in, in a normal person's life, that mm-hmm. you make that much money, you should pretty much be set for life. I know if I made that much money in my life, I'd be pretty much set for, for the rest of my life pretty well. Um, I think he's taking that into consideration and saying, hey, look, if I do get hurt or something, at least I have that to fall back on. But if I don't get hurt and I don't sign this contract, then I can get $20 million or $30 million uh, even. Just I saying. I don't see it. I'm just he's saying. Not gonna head, what, no no he's not going to get what he wants. No one's going to pay him what he wants. He's not going to get that. But you don't think he can get more than what he's He hasn't even offered? made it through. He's made it through one full season. It's his okay. whole damn career. But I'm you saying know what I mean? he gets like, through this year, yeah. does not get hurt. You he will not get, get 17 more, million. You don't 14, think he will get 14 million? million. No, I, 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 I don't think, see it. There no, will always no, be somebody no. out they there. There yeah, will always a fool out there that will pay you, pay the man. Yeah. Pay the, I don't think there's. The I don't think there is a fool out there. The, the you know, he's I, one year older. Baseball. He's one year older next look at year. Baseball, you know what I mean? Man, he wants. Still, he wants that guaranteed money. What is he going to be? Twenty seven. Yeah, yeah twenty seven is what? that's you're in the prime of your career. He's not going to get the million. Yeah. He's not going to get not the, the money. Yeah. No way. way. I, I, no way. I trust me. Pittsburgh is going to use the crap out of him I think this year. New York yeah. too. I think New York. Look at how death. much money the L.A. Rams just sunk into L.A. You don't think somebody's going to say, "Okay, hey, let's get Le'Veon Bell." They got Gurley. They don't need him. No, he's not. No, but he's just saying the Rams are just a team. Yeah, just like the Rams did this year. They went all out to go win a Super Bowl. And you know what? If the Rams do win a Super Bowl this year with this team, and this this does work. You know, there's going to be teams lining up to get Le'Veon Bell if he's healthy. Not next for year. a quarter of your team's salary, man. <laughs> you know? well, I, I'm just no saying, way. there's going to be. You know, I don't gonna, like the fact that Kevin. Through, or, I don't like the fact Kirk Cousins is getting thirty. That, <laughs> you know, that doesn't make sense. Everybody said the same thing about Kirk Cousins. Oh, he's making a mistake by not taking the big deal. He's making a mistake. Did he make a mistake? Mm. No, he got mm. paid. That's a great point. He got yeah. paid, and that's, that's a exactly great point. what Le'Veon Kirk Bell Cousins is not doing. Le'Veon Bell. Whether or not it will work aspect. out the way Kirk Cousins did or not, who knows? Quarterback. Le'Veon Bell's a running back. Right, yeah, but he still matter. got a big doesn't deal matter. in Kirk it Cousins. Does. It doesn't matter. Middle, it does. He won't no, get Kirk as much. Cousins, I'm not saying he'll get okay. as much as Kirk Cousins. What Kirk he's Cousins. saying, though, <laughs> is that Kirk Cousins got a deal, and Kirk Cousins is a middle-of-the-road quarterback, yes, he but is. his salary is top. Elite. Top elite. Notch. Mm-hmm. Right. So to, yeah, but... He, he still got, got way. Money. He still got top quarterback money, Le'Veon and no Bell one will thinks, get top running back and money. And no one thinks and that top he's top running back money will be more than fourteen getting, million dollars no, he, a year next year. Dude, dude, he's getting offered top running right. back money by are, eight million a year. You know what I mean? Like the highest paid running back in the league makes eight million a year. Mm-hmm. We offered him, or the Steelers offered him fourteen point five million Double a year, thirty three million guaranteed, and he turned it and down. he turned it down. Yeah. I don't, you know. There's only a certain money in the budget for mm-hmm. a running back. Mm-hmm. You ha- quarterbacks are it's a quarterback driven league. Quarterbacks are going to get the big it's not money. A it's just how that's it valued is. Anymore. It isn't. They, they could do it by committee like mm-hmm. the Patriots have been doing for years. Saints, you know, 17 million? No, he's not going to get that. No. And he's not you know, two, three years from now, he's not going to be the same running back. I promise mm-hmm. you. I, I'm not saying he will be, but I'm just saying I think there will be a team dumb enough out there next year to give him the money. That's all I'm saying. All right. We'll talk about that and some more we'll, as we wrap up the show with Kevin Bozeman performing at Vasani's all weekend long. For tickets, uh, log on to Vasani.net or call 941-629-9191. We'll be back right after this. Hey, hey, it's all right. Or it's pool. Welcome back to the Larry Timko Show on 1070 NBC Sports with Eric Andreas and comedian Kevin Bozeman, who's performing at Vasani's all weekend long. One show tonight, one show tomorrow, and one, and one show, show on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah, 8 tonight, 8.30 tomorrow, and 7, seven on, on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Early on Saturday. Well, we kind of combine the 6 and 9.30 oh, okay. to make it 1 gotcha. and to sell it out. Nice. Yeah. Good deal. It'll be fun. It is. And fun Kevin, show. Kevin's last hilarious. Last night was awesome. Yeah, I, last night was a I, great I, show. I've never watched you live, but I've seen your uh, videos. And yeah. Oh, my God. I was dying. Well, that's where I found uh, him. Yeah. I found him um, off of a clean, called Dry Bar yeah. Comedy. It does clean comedy. I found him there, and then I started doing more research and just looked him up, and all this other videos popped up. So I called Comedy Zone, and I said, why haven't you told me about this guy? <laughs> Like, like, I'm like, oh, yeah. Jim. Yeah. No, 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 I'm like, do you know Kevin Bozeman? Like, yeah, we love him. He does great everywhere. Okay, then why has he not been here? <laughs> right. Wow. So, yeah. Well, hopefully this is a start of a good trend, so we'll see him every year. Oh, yeah, we will. <laughs> Definitely awesome. will. We'll get him back. Yeah, for tickets. Get him back in season. Yeah, for tickets, yeah. log on to Vasani.net or just call 941-629-9191 to make your reservations. It is pasta night tonight and tomorrow night, too, where you can find some really good deals for nine ninety five and up. Mm-hmm. And you got the, uh, the uh, how do you say that steak? 
The Wagyu. The Wagyu. Wagyu. Oh, my God. You <laughs> guys, yes, that Wagyu it. steak is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It was he my birthday last, last night. night, so he treated me to a Wagyu oh, steak. Really? Oh, yeah. man. It was so good. I, I like, I was, it was just 